what's up guys happy holidays and it's your boy chevron here back with another banger and today i'm going to show you guys the most useful cydia tweaks ever cue the intro so we're gonna jump straight into it and we're gonna kick things off with the activator so there's one tweak that is the unsung hero in cydia and this is basically Activator. Activator is basically the backbone of so many Cydia tweaks because it allows for gesture based controls of almost everything. And it's just something that you need to have. It can launch apps and do almost whatever you can imagine. It sits in the background of your iOS and it just does the work. For example here, I said an Activator gesture. So when I touch the volume up and volume down button, it invokes the Cydia tweak called Snapper 2. And Snapper 2 is also one of the most important Cydia tweaks that I get as soon as I install Cydia. These are the first two tweaks that I go ahead and install. So, I mean, definitely, definitely, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and install Activator. Remember that, guys, this is basically, as I said before, the backbone of Cydia. And sometimes some tweaks you won't install until you have Activator installed. So as you can see, I double tap the status bar there and I'm invoking the tweak called Riff Raff Board, which is a beautiful multitasking, multitasking application. Up next, guys, we have Filesa. And one of the many benefits of jailbreaking your iOS device is that you can get root access to your device, which means you can add or remove files on your iPhone or iPad and do unimaginable things without a jailbreak. iFile has been everyone's favorite file manager app until now, but it seems like it has got some serious competition with the release of this Cydia tweak called Filesa. It's a file manager app for iOS and it's definitely a go. Spotlight on iOS can work as a launcher, although it's certainly not the most desirable means of launching applications. That's why this new jailbreak tweak called Insta Launcher is such an amazing and exciting and refreshing jailbreak tweak to have. It allows you to locate and launch all of the apps on your device in sub-second nature and it uses Activator as well. And I think you guys should definitely go ahead and check that one out. Power tap is one of the most useful jailbreak tweak with a simple premise that executed to perfection. It allows you to perform a respring, reboot, a power down, or a boot into safe mode from the convenience of the stock iOS power down screen. And the great thing about power tap is that it reuses most of the assets already available in the power down screen. And I think that this is one of the most useful Cydia tweaks a jailbreaker could definitely have on its device. So. If you like this tweet, definitely go ahead and download it from Cydia. As mentioned earlier, one of the best reasons for of jailbreaking your iOS device is customizing and making it look just the way you want. There are many tweaks out there that help you achieve this look, but Hide Me X is one of my personal favorite. The tweak is very, very well designed and it gives you the complete customizing experience by allowing you to change any of the iOS UI elements ranging from the lock screen to system alerts, app icons and much more as you can see I use it to hide the text on the dock down below which gives it a really nice look and as I said before if you have a vision in mind definitely go ahead and download Hide Me X and you can just go away you have a tons of different things you can customize such as alerts, animations, app switcher, control center, dock, folders and I could go all day long. There are a lot of Cydia tweaks out there that let you customize your control center but I've chosen CC settings because this one is absolutely free and this tweak lets you add custom toggles to the control center which otherwise has no options for customization so you can scroll endless with toggles right on your control center. You also have toggles on your lower board and the top board up top and definitely this is one of my favorite Cydia tweaks. You guys have always been asking me where do I get my wallpapers. It's from the June's iPhone repo and it's called iDevice Walls. This one is actually a paid Cydia tweak but it's definitely a go once I install Cydia onto my device. This is like the eighth Cydia tweak I definitely have to download because I'm always rearranging my icons and I need different wallpapers to match it. So definitely go ahead and download iDevice Walls. You can also use my coupon code SHEVI7 to get 10 is it 10 no i think it's 50 percent off yes guys 50 percent off so that means this will cost you just five dollars 
So it always costs $10, but if you use my coupon code SHEV7, you get it for 50% off. And the reason I like this tweak is because it has a different categories of wallpapers. It's well organized. It runs good with iOS 9, and I can see this tweak being used a lot in the future. iCleaner Pro, where do I start? If you have a jailbroken device and you have space limitation on your iPhone or iPad, whatever, this tweak is definitely for you. iCleaner was considered as one of the best iOS system cleaners and optimizer, and it was developed by Ivano Belenci, I think. But this tweak is definitely one of the best. As you can see here, it takes some time because it's racking up all of the trash and the cash, the cookies, and all of that. And as you can see right here, guys, after this app adds, <laughs> you can see how much space I cleaned up. Yes, 1.95 gigabytes. Sometimes on the good days, it cleans up 2 gigabytes. So definitely go ahead and check out iCleaner Pro. And iCleaner is the free version, the Pro is the paid version. Last but not least, we have Double Cut. At times, entering your email address again and again can be pretty frustrating. Sometimes when dealing with such situations, we wish there was an easier way to type in the whole email address rather than actually typing it in. It looks like our wish has been granted because someone created Double Cut. And Double Cut is exactly that. After installing this, you can enter your primary email address by simply double tapping at the at button. Or if you have another email address, you can just set it as a hold. So definitely go and check out Double Cut if you think that this will save you some time. And guys, if you made it to the end of this video, definitely click my face up here to subscribe. And check out the two other videos on the white side of my screen right here click those videos and check them out and if you're new drop a like down below and also subscribe to this video guys love peace and tweaks i'm out